So in the previous uh, KiCad video we did, we looked at using a DigiKey to find the components we wanted and downloaded the, the footprints uh, and schematic symbols, etc. and got those actually installed into a, a library for the project. Uh, I'd also like to have 3D symbols or 3D you know, images of the connectors, etc. Uh, so when I do the you know display board is 3D, I can actually see them in place. Now it turns out the PS2 connector that I chose does not have a 3D model. However, this USB connector does. And if we you know go to the EDA CAD models here, there's a 3D tab here. And if we look in the tab, it actually says, "Hey, yes, there, there is a 3D model." So let's go ahead and download it and do a save as. And it's actually where I want it to be. It's already in my project folder. So let's go ahead and save that model. Open the folder. We'll extract it. And I'm actually going to take the step file and I'm going to move it into the folder that had the footprint. Uh, and the schematic symbol. I'll paste it in here just so they're all grouped there together. We don't need this folder anymore. And let's look now at getting that symbol or that you know that 3D object actually in KiCad. So let's go back to the little project we created. Uh, just to recap, we created a really simple schematic. It, you know, just basically two connectors that are wired together in some random fashion. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It was just a good example build. We laid out a simple print circuit board for it. Uh, it you know, it's double sided. It's got the, the signals hooked up. If we go ahead and look at the 3D model now, I believe there's actually a hotkey for this. Alt plus three. We've got our model, but I would like to actually see the connector on the board here. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So I'm going to click over here in the symbol so I get the actual outline of it. I'm going to hit E to edit the symbol. And there it is. And in here we can actually load up the 3D model for it. And to do this, let's just go ahead and use the folders icon. And we want to actually, oh, now the G drive is the right place to be. Projects. I think I was actually already there. Uh, connector example. Devices. We drop the 3D model in here. As I recall, it should be a step file. It's right here. And let's load that step file up. And we actually get the step file and the printed circuit board footprint. And you can see that these don't line up well. So we need to tweak this. So first thing I need to do is get it to lie flat. And I'm going to guess here. Nope, that was scaled. I don't know what I'm doing there. That is on the wrong side of the board. 180. Nope. Oh, I want 270 maybe. No. Oops. I uh, accidentally closed it. Let's bring back in this step. Can we actually make this file log larger so you get a little better view of what I'm doing? So I need this to actually fold on the Z, I think, 90 degrees. Nope. It really is going to be on the X here, and 90 degrees should be good. We actually need to get it centered on the symbol because it's not. This has to do with where the origins of the board or the footprint and the origins of the component are. So I want to offset that in which direction? Not in the Z, not in the Y, but in the X. And now I need to 
I've set it in the Y. How lined up are we? Not as great as I can like to be. You can see the pins here don't match, so let's bring the offset in the X to there. And now we should be able to use the offset in the Z. Hopefully get it flush to the board. I don't think it can go down any further without actually ending up inside of the board. Because there are these little plastic tabs. You can kind of see them back in here. Let me try to expand this up a little bit more. If it'll let me. I don't know if you can see these or not. Let's go ahead and lift this up a bit. There's these little plastic spacers here underneath that apparently touch the board. So there they're touching the board. So I think we've got that done. Now how do I oh, click OK down here to save this. Let's go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and look at the 3D model again. And overall, I think we look okay. The pins are through the holes, not quite as centered as I'd like. This could come forward a little bit in the 3D model. So I want to bring it a little bit closer to the edge of the board. So let's go ahead and do that. Edit. Uh, I don't know what direction that is. Offset. Not that one. Not that one. Let's save that. Look at it again here. Again, not super thrilled with that. Honestly, aren't lining up as well as I'd like. I may have to go to like a half degree step here. So let's try that. Add it again. Uh, that was Y, correct? Yeah, it was Y. So let's go to 6.25. Nope. 5.75 and there we go the pins look much better centered now save that 3D view pins are now much better centered in the holes they could actually be a little bit more centered I think but I'm perfectly fine with that I want to bring the edge of the board in a little bit here. I think I actually want that flush with the edge of the board. Of course, that assumes that 3D model is perfectly accurate. And that I can't tell you if it is or not, but it does give us a good indication. Let me save the project. Uh, Microsoft Edge. Not a fan of Edge, but it's what I use here for uh, the on-camera kind of stuff. And let's look for 3D model. It's a step file. PS2 connector. And let's just see if there's anything here that might... might seem relevant. We do have a lot of 3D models here. These are all 
Ethernet and clamshells, high density D flange. None of those are really what I'm after. Let's try DIN 6, just out of curiosity. So that is a DIN 6. Let's add 3D to it. PlayStation PS2 controller 3D CAD. I have no idea. Didn't think so. PS2 connector. That's certainly not exactly the connector we want. But I'm going to go ahead and take a download of it. Yeah, Got to log in. Don't like that. SolidWorks might have something. Audio jack. Well, we're not having much luck finding it, which is fine. But we did get here to the point where we actually got at least got one of the models and I had never done this before importing the model it took a bit of digging to figure out how to do this and of course the part that was not obvious uh, that kept hanging me up uh, was this and that was the so all of the online examples showed an import but it showed several buttons to actually get the symbol in and it wasn't obvious to me that the little file icon here was actually what we clicked import the step file so you know with that i'm happy with that i think we're good so this gets us through getting in a step file as well so i think between the two videos we've brought in external symbols in a 3d model and have made them work so i'll wrap this up here and we'll talk soon.